Alright guys, today I'm gonna show you how to live stream to YouTube for the first time using OBS. First thing we're going to download OBS, you need to go to Google and type in OBS Studio. And the first page is going to appear is gonna be OBS Studio from obsproject.com. And then you're gonna have really all the options depending if you're using Windows, Mac or Linux. Uh, for me, I'm using Windows. So you're gonna go ahead and click to the operating system that applies to you. It will be something that looks like this. So what you need to do, make sure you click on it and follow the instructions. And once you have it installed, the fresh copy of OBS is gonna look exactly Exactly like this and what we need to do we're gonna go ahead and create two main scenes that you need in order for you to go live on YouTube but before we do that if this is the first time we're meeting my name is Sam you're watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so as you can see OBS is super super easy to use although sometimes it may look intimidating you have the sections where you're gonna create scenes bring in some sources like your microphone graphics pictures audio video right and then you have an audio mixer where your audio is gonna appear you have transitions you have this control uh, kind of panel where you are we're actually gonna be using it to go live and doing some settings and everything all right so what we need to do for the first scene is gonna be our welcome scene the first thing that people are going to see before you start talking and we're gonna keep this very simple so we're gonna go to the first scene that's already there right click to wait and name it we're gonna rename it welcome okay and then we're gonna go under the scene go to sources hit the plus sign and add a picture you already have a pre-designed picture dimensions got 1920 by 1080p because we're gonna be streaming in 1080p okay so plus sign go to image and then we can name it welcome image and then hit okay and then we're gonna go ahead and actually browse for the the uh, for the file okay so i'm gonna go to the folder where i have it saved click okay and then it's gonna show it like this okay and i'm gonna hit okay however we're gonna add some music as well because when people are waiting for you to kind of start talking sometimes it's good to have some music going on not just a still image right and we're gonna go to media source okay and then we're gonna name it music and then we're gonna go ahead and hit browse before we hit browse we want to make sure we check loop because we want the music to keep looping right and then we're gonna hit browse and i've got some something here a song that i want to be playing i'm gonna hit open and then hit okay so right now the song is actually playing as you can see however one crucial thing you need to do for you to be able to hear it and know what the audience is actually hearing you need to go to audio mixer here right click and then go to advanced okay and then where it says music you need to go to audio monitoring click on it and go down where it says monitor and output all right in that case the audience is gonna be able to hear it but for you too you're gonna be able to hear it in your headphones all right so that's pretty much it now for now we can pause the song no problem now we're gonna go ahead and create the second scene which is gonna be what people are going to be seeing right like you talking so we're gonna add the camera video and everything and some audio from the microphone all right so we're gonna create a scene and we're gonna call it camera and then hit okay and then we're gonna go under sources again hit plus and then just make sure the camera is checked, right? Because it's a different scene. So we're gonna go to video capture device, okay? For now, we are going to add some video, right? So we're going to add a camera. So right now I have my webcam connected. You can use a DSLR camera or a webcam, anything. Just make sure it's gotta have some sort of USB to connect into your computer and then boom. All right, so video capture device and we're gonna call it, um, let's say webcam, all right? And then we're gonna hit okay and then we're gonna go under device and then my camera is called obsbat tiny 2 streaming camera right now it should show up you can go to resolution type you can hit custom so you want to make sure you always follow your resolution so 1920 by 1080p and then for fps if you're not gaming 30 frames per second should be okay if you are into gaming you're probably gonna use 60 all right but for now we keep it at 30 and then everything else can stay the same hit okay and then boom now we have the camera ready however we have no audio so the next step we're going to go ahead and actually add some audio and that's gonna be a microphone so under the same source under camera we're going to hit the plus sign and then we're gonna go to audio input capture and then i'm gonna call it mic and then for device i'm gonna go look for specifically this microphone again it's connected to an interface called the vocaster one whatever microphone you're using it's gonna show up here 
mine is gonna be right here video call l plus r focus right so that's my microphone i'm gonna hit okay once i have it added all right as you can see i have a signal so that's pretty much it. now we have our microphone and we have our welcome scene all right so if you're gonna be playing some music or sharing your screen and you need to capture your desktop audio that could be something that we can talk about in a different video but for now we have the main things that we need we have our welcome scene and then whenever you're ready you go to the camera and then you can start talking to the audience the next step is gonna be how to set up our youtube channel for streaming all right what you need to do is you're gonna go here on the top here where it says is a plus sign or camera with the plus sign you're gonna go ahead and click to it and then you're gonna go where it says go live okay and then the first thing you're gonna see is gonna say request access to live streaming once requested it may take up to 24 hours to access live streaming so we're gonna go ahead and actually click request now to access live streaming on the desktop you have to verify your phone number so you're gonna go ahead and actually click verify okay and once you get here so what they're gonna do they're gonna ask you how to verify so you're gonna go ahead and choose if you want them to either call you or send you a verification code all right so for me i can actually go ahead and uh say call me all right all right so i just got a call from google and now as you can see it says your phone number has been verified all right i can go back to my youtube channel and as you can see we're gonna have to wait for 24 hours before we can actually go live all right so 24 hours later now we can go ahead and click to the plus sign again click to go live all right and what we see as you can see we have uh, access to live streaming now the next part we're gonna go back to obs and connect our channel to youtube so back to obs now we have everything set now the next step we're gonna go to settings all right and then this is where we're gonna set our stream all right so you need to go to where it says stream and you need to go service just make sure you use youtube rtmps okay and then this one right here primary for the server leave it at primary youtube in just server and then another thing before we do anything you need to go to video and then we say best canvas resolution make sure you leave it at 1920 by 1080p another setting that you need to pay attention to where it says output scaled resolution this is gonna be the resolution that you're gonna be sending to your viewer so you want to make sure you actually set it at 1920 by 1080p as well and then for here just leave it the way it is for common fps value make Make sure you leave it at 30 okay because we're streaming at 30 frames per second hit apply and then the next thing we're gonna go to is gonna be the streaming option now before we go there i'm gonna go ahead and make obs just smaller because there's an important step that we're going to do here all right so we have i'm gonna have my browser ready for me here so we're gonna go back to settings okay and then what we need to do we're gonna go where it says stream again now you have two ways of connecting your youtube account to obs the first way is actually connecting the youtube account to obs using this tab here the second one is to schedule your stream inside uh, youtube and actually copy the stream key and bring it back into obs which in my opinion is not the best way to do it so we're gonna use the best way which is connecting our youtube channel directly to obs so we can do everything in obs and then obs is gonna be sending the info to youtube all right so what we need to do we're gonna go ahead and click connect account okay so when it says this it's gonna give you this message here and as you can see in your browser there is a tab that's going to open here right so you need to go ahead and open or connect the email that's linked to your youtube channel all right and then you're gonna have an option to choose your youtube channel okay so once you click on your youtube channel just follow the instruction so obs is asking to access your account or youtube channel okay just hit allow okay and right now back in obs we are good as you can see everything's connected before you hit okay make sure you hit apply and then hit okay 
now as soon as you hit apply as you can see we have a new doc that is actually opening actually we have another one so the first one is a chat doc and another one it's called youtube live control panel okay we're gonna be using these two and they are lovely you're gonna love them okay make sure you go to docs if it's locked hit unlock so i'm gonna go ahead and drag it and place it somewhere here close to the picture you go ahead and put it here so as you can see it's kind of you know kind of locked in okay so this is where your chat is gonna be coming in now for the live control panel you have to sign in again and once you're done signing in everything's gonna look like this all right we have the chat and then we have the youtube live control panel these are so sweet you're gonna see once we go live you're gonna love it so the last step now guys we're going to go live which is gonna be before we go live because we're gonna do everything inside obs so what we need to do is i'm gonna go ahead and click manage broadcast here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new broadcast you can call it my broadcast test okay and then description you're gonna put a real description but for now you're just gonna call it test okay and then for privacy you want to make sure you click public and then category i can keep it people and blogs okay now is this video made for kids i'll say no it's not made for kids okay and the last thing we're gonna go ahead and actually add a thumbnail so i have just a pre-made thumbnail just for fun it's important to have a thumbnail by the way i can go ahead and check remember these settings i can either go ahead and hit create broadcast and then just hit start streaming or i can go ahead and and actually click create broadcast and start streaming okay but for now let's just hit create broadcast okay it's gonna take a few seconds to process all the information through youtube but now it's ready what we need to do is hit start streaming okay now youtube is should be receiving my signal from obs but for now what i need to do is instead of actually having this scene where i'm talking i can go ahead and actually choose the welcome scene all right and the music okay and that's what people are actually getting on youtube so if i go in the back end of youtube right if i go to manage here you can see that the stream is actually here and it's actually going on happening no problem okay so now the stream i can either click on it to see everything so you can actually go ahead and click on it just to make sure everything is healthy no problem see if the signal is coming through as you can see everything is good and another thing we can do here if you want you can go to edit and then you can customize you can add more stuff if you want you can even monetize it if you are monetized if you're not monetized i'm assuming for the first time you're streaming you probably not monetize right but if you monetize you can go ahead and actually turn on the monetization so this is it in the back end of youtube this is what it looks like so another thing is if you want to watch it you can also just click share and you're gonna get a link so if i go back to obs as you can see everything looks good no problem i can switch angles as you can see i can send a chat from here or a message from here and i can do like you know some reactions no problem and boom so if i go back to the browser here you can see that if i play it right the chat is appearing and at the same time we have the broadcast test that this is our live control panel so you can see how many concurrent viewers right now we have zero viewers we have the chat rate and then views we can have all the views coming in right here now you may have some warnings here things that you kind of have to fix maybe your internet may be slow or maybe the bit rate you're sending is not enough and stuff like that again you can go back just click on it and then it's gonna take you back to youtube and this is where you can actually check out what's going on uh if it's a problem with the bit rate and stuff like that okay but most of the time it's actually nothing if your internet connection is actually good so but once you're done streaming all you gotta do is just hit stop streaming just hit yes and then you'll be good to go now if you get to see these error messages and you know it continues to kind of happen and you see you're having some issues you want to make sure you watch the next video because i'm gonna be talking about the best obs settings for youtube live how to optimize your live stream depending on your internet speed and things like that and make sure you give your viewers the best viewing experience so i'm gonna link it right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there take care